Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Thick Empress Tarot. Hi guys, how are y'all doing today or tonight? Whichever, uh, whenever this message reaches you. I am here to do the Divine Masculine reading. I think Divine Feminine's reading uh, has already been uploaded. But, um, as I, let me get started with the reading, guys. I have already prayed. As you can see, I'm shuffling, but I shuffled uh, four. I shuffled the other decks as well. So, again, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, spirit guides of the white light, we welcome, welcome, welcome you again. And let's get this reading started. Everything started to pop out. So, in Divine Masculine Reading, we want to know um, the current energy the person on Divine Masculine's mind, the obstacle, and the outcome. And what flipped over was the Page of Wands just now. So there is something on Divine Masculine's mind that he's thinking about exploring, think about thinking about going to. He Divine Masculine seems like you have fun and excitement and action on your mind. So Divine uh, Masculine's current situation. Divine Masculine's current situation. What is going on with Divine Masculine's current situation? Let's see. I oh, know they are. Okay. So, Divine Masculine, it seems like your planning is a little off, brother. Oh, no. Okay. Like you planned something and it just didn't go the way that you had planned. Yeah, like you made this um, quick movement towards this Queen of Swords. Um... That caused... Uh, eruption in emotions so y'all probably got into like a fuzz but maybe y'all were planning on building a home or something building like a um, a life together I don't look like that's happening anymore yeah like you don't free yourself you could have even freed yourself from um, addictions Divine Masculine, it's, you not collaborating, not coming together with, uh, uh, something is going on, like a, a situation is not happening with you and someone seems like, or if this is a job, this is a job where you have a clear understanding that this is just not going to work. Oh, wow. Let's see what it's. Yeah, and you understand it. You got the big picture of everything and you're ready to move forward, move on to in a new direction. <laughs> so whether it's a job or this is a love situation, that I'm asking them, you are pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and you are ready to move on. You could have even gotten a... a if this is a love situation, you probably have gotten a divorce. Uh, attorney or something. I have to move these cards, y'all, because it was a lot that came out for your current situation. But you probably possibly could have gotten um, a lawyer or someone to help you because it seems like the way how you planned this situation, like some of you guys probably were planning to leave a situation and the way that you are, are leaving or planning on leaving this situation it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're trying to free yourself from something. We're going to clarify, but you're trying to free yourself from something or someone. And your planning is way off. Whatever you're planning on, how you're planning on doing this, it's like you're ready to just pew, dash. And whoever you're trying to do this with, this person sees this. They see it. They see that the love in this situation has been lost. Lost. So whether it's a job or you being involved with a person, either way, they can see that you have no more love, no more passion for it. 
and that you're ready to free yourself and not give to the situation any longer. All right, Mr. Masking. The person on your mind. Give us about the person on the mind. Masking is mine. Seems like you got a lot of people on your mind or a lot of situations on your mind. Yeah, you're confused. You're confused and you don't know what to do, who to pick. If it's a job, which job option to pick, you're confused. It's like you're thinking right now, it's like, ooh, that's plenty of fish in the sea. Look, look how she's looking at those fish. And y'all, please excuse my nails. I just haven't had time uh, to get to them, but it don't matter what my nails look like as long as y'all receive the message. All right? But look, and the thing of it is, you see how the light is glaring on the fish? She's starting to realize that some of these fish that's in this sea may not be worth it. They may not be worth it. They may not be the, the, the right catch. But you, you, you know, you got options, my friend. All right. What is the obstacle? <laughs> I think we kind of know that. Yeah. You're giving your love away to multiples. And you, you scattered. You, you feel betrayed because it seems like it seems look the fish again it seems like you picked one of these fish you picked one of the fish and the, the fish that you picked betrayed you betrayed you and have you feeling like you've been ruined yep you and this person, whoever you picked and they made you feel like you've been betrayed and ruined, seems like y'all have gotten into it. If not, about to get into it. All right, and what is the outcome for Divine Feminine? I mean, oh my God, Divine Masculine and the person on his mind. Yeah, you're going to get a, a clear picture as to what it is who or who it is or what it is that you're supposed to be offering yourself to. So if this was a job, you chose the wrong job. This was a person, you chose the wrong person. But... The outcome is that you're going to get a clear picture as to where it is that you need to bring your compassion, understanding, your talent, your creativity, your love. You're going to get a clear picture of that. Yeah. All right. So now it's time to clarify. I swear to my mask, when y'all readings be like, doop, doop, straight to the point, straight to the point. Divine Feminine readings. Divine Feminine will be putting me through it. But this is not her reading. This is y'all reading. So let's clarify. All right. Uh, the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. You know, the Queen, Queen of Swords, she's somebody who is highly intelligent. The Queen of Swords is somebody who can cut through BS like no other. She sees uh, things from a logical perspective. She plays nobody's games. Yeah, like I said, whoever this Queen of Swords is, this Queen of Swords knows that an ending is coming. And she herself has been becoming inspired to take a leap and explore. So this, 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 Queen of Swords know that the love has been lost in this situation. Again, if this is a job, they can tell that Divine Masculine, you lack the passion, the inspiration, you lack the drive, the motivation. You don't have it anymore. 
they can definitely tell. They can tell that you do not want to collaborate with them or do business, whatever the situation may be. This person knows that. All right. Okay, so give me something on the seven of emotions. Yeah, so now you're trying to balance out all these options that you uh that you had. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it is. You're trying to balance and come to a, a temperamental place with what you have been doing. So if this is a love situation, you could have been out being playboy flawed and messing with all kinds of different women. I'm talking about you had them every which way from out of your race, in your race, a uh, petite, thick, um, tall, short, whatever the case may be, but you was, you was doing it. Now you want to balance that out and go after what you want. Let me see, because I want to find out what is it that divine masculine want. Oh, look what's at the bottom of the deck. You want a divine connection. You want the connection that God has for you, but let's clarify. What is it that divine masculine wants? You planning and preparing for something. This could be somebody from your past. Ooh. You want to build with this person. You want to build with this person. You want to have kids with this person. Oh. Yeah. So, divine masculine. This, I, I don't think it's this queen of swords person that you're wanting to leave if this is a love uh, situation. It ain't her. This is somebody totally different from your past. Somebody that you've already dealt with. Y'all already had um, dealings with each other. You want that old thing back. And you, you, you're planning and preparing to go towards this person. You waiting on something to come in or something that you're waiting on to come in. Y'all, I'm being nosy tonight. What? What are you waiting to come in? What is divine masculine waiting to come in? It's like you're trying to... You, you're working on yourself. That's what you're doing. You're working on yourself. You see the bigger picture of this situation with whoever this is that you're uh, wanting. You see the bigger picture with this person. And you're wanting to have a new passion and beginning with this person. So Divine Masculine, I'm glad that you rec recognize that you have work to do. And because of that, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, we have been looking for a remote for like two weeks and we finally found it. <laughs> so Divine Masculine, uh, you done discovered something in somebody that you're willing to work on yourself to go and have this new passion and beginning with this person. You are highly attracted to this person. You are ready to go get what you want. But you, what I love is that you know you need to sort these options out. You know that this confusion, you can't bring this to where you're going. All right. Yeah, you ready to fight for this. You ready to fight for this. And that light shining in the back. You have become enlightened about what it is or who it is that you want. If this is a job situation, you are the next job that you're going on. You are going to make sure that you are emotionally fulfilled. And... This job that you're going to be going on, this job is going to pay you well. You're going to have good pay, good benefits for those of you who are going to be working like a nine to five. Good benefits. You're going to be able to take trips. You're going to be able to live very well 
off of this job. This could be an old job that you had once before that's going to be contacting you to come back. Something that you desired, uh, doing something that you was very passionate about. They're going to be contacting you to uh, come in and work for them. Uh, you're going to be a business, your own uh, business owner. You're going to be an entrepreneur. Your business is about to boom. So if some of you, like if you right now you're at a nine to five and you're like, you know what? I'm not feeling this. I'm just not feeling it. Those people know you, you're not feeling it. You're going to come to reality and realize that you're supposed to be your own boss. And once you tap into that, the money is going to come. And you're going to get family. Your family is some, something with your family, too, as well, is going to increase and build. All right. The obstacle. Let me see with the lovers. I'm going to clarify both the lovers and the... Um, yeah, so the... The obstacle is that you gave whoever this this Queen of Swords person is. You and this person, it seems like y'all go back and forth, back and forth, and you gave this person a chance. And that created an obstacle, and you feel like you betrayed yourself. Yeah, you went towards this situation quick, fast, and in a hurry, only to be met with lies, deception, trickery thievery but that situation has now been exposed all right give me something on the ten of swords yeah it's time for you you done been through a lot of divine masculine and you're not taking the time out to rest it's time for you to rest because something has ended or is about to end it's time for you to rest. If you need to take a, a spiritual bath, a regular bath, uh, get by the water, go on like a little beach vacation or something, but definitely get around some water so that you can get a clear picture of everything. Because it's like you going, you, you're going through a lot and you're probably not seeing it. And you're probably thinking like, why am I going through this or like I shouldn't be going through this yeah you should everything happens for a reason get get by some water and clear your mind so that way you can see the bigger picture of things yeah see I can't make it up yeah it's time for you to go into hermit mode go and get enlightened and get wisdom on this entire situation and why it had to happen because you are very heartbroken right now. You could even be crying, um, but you need to go within. It's time for you to go within. And I know uh, masculine energies usually don't like to tap into those emotions, but you're going to have to. And once you do, you're going to get enlightenment. On what it is you should be doing you're gonna be enlightened on whatever it is that or wherever you should uh, wherever your path is leading you you're, you're gonna oh try for me not to say this Ugh. you are going to be enlightened about where it is or who it is that you should be with and here comes your divine counterpart part and are the abundance are both all right the outcome yeah you're going towards success public recognition whatever it is that you um taking action towards is going to work in your favor listen on the page of swords yeah, the outcome is that you're going to get mental clarity on what it is because you're planning at this point, the planning that you're doing now 
is very disorganized. Whatever it is, however it is you're planning to get out of this situation, is very disorganized. Once you gather your thoughts and woosai, your thoughts are going to align. And then you're going to start thinking better. And then you'll be able to quickly manifest throughout. You'll be able to quickly manifest and move away from all of these lies, deceit, and thievery, and sneakiness. All these little sly foxes that have been around. You're going to be able to get away from that and go and give your love and creativity to where, and this has been coming, the King of Wands, give your love and creativity to either someone or this job. All right, the King of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, you are getting your strength back. You're going to be brave. You're going to be compassionate. You're going to take control of these situations that have been trying to control you you are going to stand your ground and you're going to be strong you're going to be strong and great things are coming are going to be coming for you look yes you are going to defend your title whether it's emperor or a title on your job, whatever it is, you're going to stand up and defend it. Hmm? Go ahead on, Divine Masculine. Let's see. So now we're going to get to the hidden truth about this situation. Y'all, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, please. And thank you. Oh, yeah, some of y'all, y'all are going to be able to release real soon and let whatever you need out. It's, it's going to come out in a good way. In a good way. The hidden truth. Huh? Okay, so when it comes to your current situation, you are afraid to reach out to somebody. And then it says, I want to tell you how I feel. You want to tell this person how you feel, which I'm sure is this person who is um, who you're wanting to build with. And then it says, you came closer than anyone, and I don't react when people mention your name. So, and then you see, uh, at the bottom it says, I replay our conversations over and over. So, whoever, whomever this person is, um, Divine Masculine, that you're doing um, a lot of this planning for and waiting on your ships to come in um, with this person, you is it, it's a lot that you want to tell this person you want to tell this person how you feel and you've been keeping a, a strong face around others like you and this person may know the same people you've been keeping a strong uh face around people acting like you you're not really caring um you've been hiding your feelings for this person all right so what is and this queen of swords may know about this person or they know definitely know that you're not feeling it no more so they probably bring up this person name or this other job bring up this other job that you was with before and you have no reaction to it the person on divine masculine's mind and Divine Masculine, if I called you Divine Feminine at any point in this reading, I do apologize. It's just that um, y'all highly connected. All right, so the person that's on your mind, it says, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So many things remind me of you, and we need to let each other go. So Divine Masculine... 
you have these feelings for this person and you you don't know what to do with those feelings one minute you in one minute you out in out in out in out but I'm going to clarify some more. We need to let each other go. Let's see what that is. Clarify, we need to let each other go. Go. Clarify, we need to let each other go. These cards got us very stubborn. Somebody don't want me to know something. Okay, so this is you and this... Uh, Queen of, Queen of Swords. Yeah. So, because what's happening is the Divine Masculine, you are wanting to just, like I said, you don't really have a plan as to how you're going to cut this off. And so, um, what's going to happen, you, what you're saying is that, I mean, no matter how you cut this cake, this it, it needs to end. And so, like I said, in the outcome, you are going to finally grab the bull by its horns. All of those chaotic uh, forces that's around you, you are going to harness them and you're going to take control of the situation and do what it is that you know you need to do. Yeah, you're, you, you're definitely putting in the work to clear this situation so that you don't have all of this confusion there's a lot of confusion going on all right so let's see and it's it's probably hard for you at this moment because so many things is reminding you of this queen of swords person but you know that it's time to let go All right. So the obstacle is the hidden truth with the obstacle of this situation. Okay. We both know I'm not the one for you. Maybe you getting it, Divine Masculine, and this person is just not getting it. That's what it seems like. It seems like this person as clear as her perspective is she's not getting it I bury myself in work to forget about you I remember every day of every detail of that day let's clarify I remember every and I bury myself in work Yeah, so there was some type of deception that was done to gain, like, some material uh, wealth. And so the thing, this is, what's, this, this is what the obstacle is, Divine Masculine. You are still holding on to past hurt, past rejection past things that um that wasn't good that happened to you you're still holding on to that and what it is is causing a blockage for you to even move on to this person that you want to move on to you're gonna have to let that go because not everybody is the same and that's probably what is holding you up from this person that you see as the one out of all the others you don't look at that person the same like you do everybody else however it's like you're treating that person or you you know that you would treat that person like the betrayers that have betrayed you in the past so it's time for you to let that go it's time for you to let that go 
what is the hidden truth about the outcome okay so you know you and this person who you want to go towards that y'all will be together again i wish things could be different and i replay our conversations over and over you like this person i'm becoming a better person that was at the bottom of the deck so um you know that you and this person will be together again um it's just that you had this situation going on with this queen of swords person who probably seemed like no, because this person don't want, she that Queen of Swords person do not want to leave, but she's probably have left you by the wayside a couple of times, and you're that's why you feel so betrayed. But you wish things could be different because probably when you was dealing with this Queen of Swords person, you was also dealing with this person because both of them are from your past. These two uh, feminines, okay. And so you wish things could be different. You probably tried to have a little third party going on. Mm -hmm. Um, And so now you replay y'all conversations over and over. I'm going to clarify. I wish things could be different. Clarify. I wish things could be different. Yeah, you wish the way that you approached, how you approached the situation, you wish that you would have done things differently. Like you came running in just talking just talking you was about nothing but talk and didn't put forth no action now you wishing that you would have put forth action and then had the nerve to be disconnected from the situation you didn't see the value of whoever this is that you want now now you see it but you didn't see it before let's see i'm getting these cards uh, all right these cards go on every... Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I got it. I think we were alone now. I don't know what made me want to say that. So probably Divine... Well, look what's at the uh, bottom of the deck, Honeymoon. And me singing, I think we're alone now. So you're wanting to get... In, uh, you're... Uh, 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 you are wanting to get alone with this person and enjoy the bliss of the holiday together so you're wanting to take this person somewhere where it could just be you two and y'all can enjoy each other mm -hmm. let's see what does the romance angels have to say about this finances and career Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah, and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you could be having issues with your uh, your parents, Divine Master, or you could be having uh, financial issues that you need to heal with a parent like a baby mama baby daddy husband wife something like that all right the person on the mind asking is mine oh this is a past life relationship so you and this person have known each other before look it says it's time for you to flirt and extend your light-hearted energy to others. So it's time for you to get over this situation. Yes, it hurt it. It didn't feel good. And honeymoon is at the bottom again. What, what a doggone wedding. You and this person could potentially get married. This new person. Um, But... Whatever this hurt is that occurred with this Queen of Swords energy, it seems like it could have been something with money, finances or something. This person could have even ruined your career, seems like it. Because one thing about the Queen of Swords, when she is in her negative energy, she will cut you deep. And if that means, like I say, she will leave you by the wayside as long as she gets what she wants. 
So maybe that's what happened in this situation and you just can't believe that somebody who you could love could do something like that to you. It's time for you to get out of that and not everybody is like that. Not everybody is like that. So you need to, you know, flirt. Flirt with this person and be lighthearted. Stop being so uptight and mean. Some of y'all are. All right, the obstacle. Yeah, so the obstacle is, like I said, it's time for you to go within, do a woo sigh, and it says love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah. Because whoever you're wanting to get yourself together for, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. You just have to get over what you have going on. Look what's this popping up. It says release your ex. All right. But it didn't come out, so I'm not. All right. The outcome. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this situation, it it was unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Like, no matter, then honeymoon is <laughs> bottom of the deck and y'all know I shuffled them cards. Yeah, you gonna have to let this go. You gonna have to let this goal because it's like whoever you're dealing with is like y'all dealing with each other out of maybe y'all were y'all have kids together that keep popping out a lot maybe it's just for the kids that y'all have been holding on to each other but you and whoever this queen of swords person is y'all go back and forth back and forth back and forth and both of y'all know that this is not what's up. You getting to the point to where you like, oh, I'm ready to leave. This person don't want to let you go because you're probably the financial provider for this household or the situation. They're not wanting to let you go. So now you are, yeah, it's like it's, it's no love in this situation. And so, in order to have happiness, somebody's going to have to make the first move. This Queen of Swords is not going to make the first move. But the way you're planning on doing it, Divine Masculine, I highly suggest that you don't. I highly suggest that you don't. Because it seems like you're planning on just... If y'all live together, this is what I'm seeing. You planning on like, okay, I done had enough of this. This is not working. We are not meant to be together. So let me get all my stuff. Let me, you know, just tell this person straight up it's over. And I'm getting out of here and you just leave. No, there's a way that you, there's, there's a way to do things. Have a sit down and talk with this person and talk to them because when this person is in their positive energy, this person is get, can, you know, clearly see through things. And I don't know about the understanding of this person because the Queen of Swords is not somebody who is understanding. This person is very logical. So you probably have to meet this person on a logical standpoint. You, you probably can't come to this person um, just demanding and fiery and angry or whatever because that's not going to work with this type of person that person is going to pull out them swords and start cutting your ass so that's not going to work but a person who has a logical mindset you need to meet that person with a logical option so hey this i look this is not working we both know that it's not working I think it's time that we go through everything and we really be honest with ourselves and we go our separate ways 
now we do share finances and everything so whatever we have like with the kids and stuff i'm more than willing to help you know or whatever the situation may be i don't know y'all situation that's just an example but you definitely want to approach this person logically okay and then once you can get this situation this bad planning in order and deal with this unrequited love situation again here comes the honeymoon Woo. all right let's see oh the current situation with divine masculine current situation with divine masculine Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So you know. You know. Then it says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. Love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this person that you're wanting to go towards, that you are waiting for your ships to come in, you know that there's really nothing missing it's just that you have to get yourself together all right so it says give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires yes you do divine masking yes you do all right so the person that's on divine masculine's mind And so it says, trust transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transfer, transform, transfer, huh? So you're going to transfer from one relationship to the next, okay? But it says transform. It's going to automatically transform. It says if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, divine masculine, come out of your head space and tap into your heart. And trust and know that once you follow your heart, that's when the transformation is going to come with this situation. Okay. What about the... <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, that's a, all right. That's a lot. I'm gonna read them. It says, Twin flames, your passion ignites. Ooh, okay, all right. So, you and this person who you're waiting. Who you're not you're not waiting but you're doing this work for and getting yourself together for you mainly do it for you love yourself first this it could be your twin flame y'all have a lot of passion for each other and that's what's also creating that's what created your awakening to see that the situation that you're currently in is not where you want to be. So it says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. So. Hmm. You and this person... You, you and this person who you, um, is, that you're going towards, you guys could have said some things to each other that were hurtful or just was mean to each other. Um, or trying to, you know, hey, you know, you need to change this. You need to be like this. 
but what it's saying is that meet people where they are love and accept each other for where each person is and watch how things magically transform and then it says the past is behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith so like I, I've been saying throughout this reading let the past go embrace new possibilities because you have something better that is here and you know that divine masculine that's why you're at the point to where you're realizing now that you need to do work on yourself and then it says life of us is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads so divine masculine you're gonna have to just go with the flow whatever uh, is occurring in this situation let it occur um you and this person let's just say you and this person y'all start um coming together you do what you're supposed to do on this end with this queen of swords uh person and then you and this this per this new person y'all start forming a relationship and start you know getting to know each other more than what y'all already do don't sit up there and be like oh you know i'm starting to see signs of that one being like the other one and oh no it's supposed to work out like this and i'm not i'm not gonna go through the uh you know just saying all kind of you know stuff like that thinking that it's gonna be like the last time don't do that because you're jeopardizing the relationship before it even gets started. You're jeopardizing it before it even gets started. Even if it's a job, you would be jeopardizing it even before you get started if you don't give it a true, fair chance. So when you start over with this person, let it be on a clean slate. Don't take the hurt from this queen of swords situation and put it with this new situation because you're gonna ruin it and then it says wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course i just said that all right and so last spread the outcome All right, so it says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So, again, if that's the case, why would you want to stay in this world and be with somebody where there's unrequited love? You want to leave this earth with great love and happy memories. And then it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of right or I mean of, wait. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So, some of you, um, with leaving this situation, you feel like I'm going to be wrong for doing that uh some of you guys could have grown up uh traditionally where once you get married or you have children with somebody you're supposed to stay no matter what um and you feel like okay if i leave this situation that's me basically calling it quits and giving up on my family which that's something that you're not supposed to do that's that's is no right or wrong to it but you you have to follow your heart you have to follow your heart you don't want to stay in a situation just because of years you don't want to stay in a situation just because of kids you want to be there because you want to be there because that's 
where you're loved and that's where you're loving someone else that's where you guys have each other backs like the vow says until death do you part sickness and health you want to be in that type of relationship with somebody um and I'm saying it because this situation, it seems like it was more of a divine masculine. You give the finances and you, you know, just provide for the household. And that's what this person has become accustomed to. That's what they don't want to let go. They don't want to let that go. You don't want that. You want, you want to provide, protect, love, all of that. And you want to get love, respect, honor. You want to get all of that in return. So, when it comes to following your heart, there's no right or wrong. No matter what you do, people are going to talk about the decision that you make. Even if you stay in this situation, you're going to get talked about or looked down upon. Some people going to look up, some people going to talk good. If you come out of it, it's going to be the same thing. It's just what you want to do. This decision is really up to you, what you want, what you feel is best for you. So with that being said, Divine Masculine, have a blessed day. And guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Thank you guys so much. Have a blessed day.